So we mentioned Newfoundland and Labrador, the latest province to release its reopening plans, and it will start lifting restrictions on June 15th. Limits on outdoor and indoor gatherings will be slightly raised. And on July 1st, visitors from outside the province will be welcomed again. Restaurants can reopen. Then, as of August 15th, no more limits on personal gatherings. Bars can bring back the dance floor. Final stage begins September 15th when virtually all restrictions are lifted. John Hagee is Newfoundland and Labrador's health minister and he is in St. John's. Minister Hagee, thanks very much for joining the program. Let's get right to it. I want to look at uh, Canada today, July 1st. That is when you're reopening travel to the rest of Canada with no testing or isolation requirements, at least for Canadians who are fully vaccinated. So question is, how do they prove it? That's a good question, and that's a work in progress. Um, we uh, don't want to get caught offside with any federal requirements, particularly because they're doing the work around international travel. Uh, and uh, certainly from our point of view, we, we kind of got uh, our, um, our, our fingers burned a little bit with the COVID alert app situation where we had a, a very good local, uh, uh, local app. Uh, so um, we are not sure where they are yet, but it's a dialogue that's been going on for a couple of weeks now. But could it be something where you're requiring um, the, the certificate or the QR code or whatever it is that people got in whatever province they're coming from in order to enter? Uh, what we're looking at is, is some kind of record that they can present uh, at their point of arrival, be that electronic for those who, uh, who have uh, smartphones, as a lot of us do, uh, but also uh, something that, uh, that would be uh, like a QR code that could be shown to uh, uh, to the uh, the staff at the airport uh, so that uh, it can be verified. Are you worried about people trying to fake it just to be able to get in? Well, I mean, we've had the same situation uh, in reverse with um, uh, PCR test certificates from uh, other countries. We don't have a means of independently verifying those. And to a certain extent, there will be an honor system here uh, if there is a paper a paper trail involved. I, 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 you have uh, sort of thresholds, as all provinces do, on, on first doses, uh, and that's tied to the way in which reopenings happen. You're certainly on track right now, but is there, is there any possibility when you look at the, the situation around your case counts and hospitalizations right now that things could be delayed beyond the schedule that you've outlined today? Obviously, um, vaccine is, is the game changer. That's the difference between our opening up this summer uh, in the way we are and, and last year when we came out of our first initial lockdown. Uh, but I think really one of the other things we do look at is hospital capacity, uh, testing capacity and uh, uh, the, the case counts. Uh, the cases we have seen uh, over the last uh, couple of small clusters we've had have all been very mild. The hospitalizations, even at their peak, I think, were only six, uh, and that was well within our system's ability to cope. Um, we don't foresee any derailment to our vaccine targets by the dates in the plan, unless there's some issues with delivery. So I want to talk to you about tourism. Tourism, of course, so big to the economy of, of Newfoundland and Labrador. Uh, we've all seen the ads, whether it's in our social feeds or on television. What are those who work in, in tourism telling you now about this plan? Um, uh, one of them was like a dog with two tails. I think she was about to burst into tears. Uh, they have had a really difficult, uh, a really difficult uh, year, uh, um, 16 months. Uh, and I think the prospect of getting back to something nearer normal uh, is, is more than welcome. Uh, we have um, uh, a lot of people who come from uh, Ontario and Alberta principally and so those are the jurisdictions where um, uh, we, we, our tourism industry relies on their dollars. Uh, staycations and, uh, and stay home years uh, only go so far. They work better in rural areas um, than, than the urban centers such as St. John's. Yeah, absolutely. I, I also want to ask you just about, um, you know, you, you are reporting today uh, 17 new cases, uh, many of these tied, particularly in Western Newfoundland, to uh, the B1617 variant, uh, the one first detected in, in India. Uh, what do you say to those who, who look at the plan today and say, you know, less than a month from now, a lot of restrictions are going to be gone and, and who worry a bit given where things are at right now? This is going to make people nervous. I mean, we've had a very successful um, COVID management strategy over the course of the last 16 months. 
but it has been uh, partly our geography and our ability to contain. And I think moving now to what is essentially a mitigation strategy was always built into our plan, which originally back last year was called life with COVID. Um, so I, I think the, the, the reassurance is that these clusters appear to be, certainly the central uh, um, island portion one seems to be uh, on the, the, the downside and the one on the west coast of the island uh, seems to be contained. Uh, we have a very flexible response system in terms of our alert levels. Uh, test, trace, and isolate works very well. Our public health are extremely good and very experienced at doing that. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have contingency plans. We have mitigation plans. We can do local level changes. Uh, that's worked. A short, sharp, corrective uh, has uh, often not needed to last beyond uh, a week at its uh, most uh, restrictive and then uh, eased either in stages or, or completely quite quickly. So um, we've got systems that worked uh, and, and are still working. So, uh, yes, it's um, uh, a time when people will be nervous and we understand that and we'll, we'll help them through it. Newfoundland and Labrador are one of the last provinces to outline um, a reopening plan. But one thing that we do not have at all in terms of dates and when certain restrictions will come off is from the federal government and the Canada-U.S. border. Um, I, I wonder if you have any thoughts on when you would like to see that reopened. Any, any concerns you have about the fact that we don't yet see any plan at all from, from Ottawa? I think there's a little bit of time, quite frankly, uh, for the federal government to, to make a decision uh, I mean, by the end of our plan, step three, where, you know, 80% of the population have had both doses, uh, I think that is our safe spot, unless there's some issue with, uh, you know, a variant, a new variant of concern uh, and vaccine escape. Uh, but again, um, the tourism industry, particularly um, here and our outfitting industry, uh, rely on, on U.S. custom uh, in, a, in a significant way. So they are keen to see uh, what the art of the possible is there. Um, and certainly we've been in um, quite interesting discussions with our, our outfitters who have uh, submitted some really interesting plans to, uh, to try and make something of certainly the fall season. Yeah. Is there any possibility for the summer? Or are you suggesting to them that maybe that border stays largely closed through... Um, again, we're at the mercy of the, the, the federal government in this regard. And I think those questions in terms of timing around that would be better directed to Dr. Tam or, or, or Minister Haidu. Uh, but certainly, um, uh, it, it's an industry that would require a little bit of lead time. They simply have to get their camp staffed up and this kind of thing. So uh, that's the ch our challenge is trying to look into a crystal ball. And ours has always been a little bit murky, just like everyone else's. There you have it. Minister, thanks so much for your time. Have a great afternoon. Uh, you too, David. Thanks for your interest. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Vashi Capello's host of Power in Politics. See more of our show by subscribing to the CBC News Channel or click the link for another video.